As we head into the festive season, we are realizing unprecedented levels of violence in every sector of the island. It is therefore imperative that we bring these incidents to a stop to prevent any further loss of life and property. Despite significant strides by the members of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force, we continue to observe increases in homicides, gun-related activity, and other serious offenses. The recent crime trends are extraordinarily complex and as such require a multifaceted approach to curbing. As an organization, we continue to make headway in the resolution of homicides with several cases from previous years being brought before the courts recently. We have also made strides in increased seizures of firearms across the island. Our covert and overt patrol strategies were revamped and a visible indicator is the increased checkpoints around the island and at all hours of the day. These efforts have proven fruitful as a multitude of arrests have been facilitated as a consequence. Outstanding warrants have been effected. Weapons, seizures, and incidents of crime prevented as a direct result of this increased police operations throughout the entirety of the island. We are actively working towards continuing these measures as well as developing and implementing new strategies to deal with the upsurge of violent crimes. We recognize, however, that crime prevention and reduction is an impossible task only for the police to handle. The situation is not an easy one, but by no means is it impossible. I call on our partner agencies to cooperate with our efforts. Social interventions are an absolute necessity at this time. The police may succeed in reading our streets of all guns, but someone intent on taking the life of another will find a way. In this vein, strong social programs geared towards fostering productive members of society at all levels are required. We need to raise a generation which appreciates the value of ethical behavior and community engagement. We also need to develop public resistance to criminality. No longer can we afford to turn a blind eye and pretend the occurrences around us do not concern us. It is time that we collectively stop harboring criminal elements intent on destroying the very fabric of our nation. The Creole saying lends true at this time. Si pani situez, i pani vole. If there is no safe place that these migrants can find a haven, they will be flushed out and be rid of through the judicial system. Crime is not just the business of the police. It affects all of us, whether by way of direct threat or loss, financially or otherwise. It is all our business. To the members of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force, I commend you for your commitment and your continued effort. I know that it has been a significant challenge and you have been called yet again to make a continued sacrifice. I again call on you to continue and give even more of your time and dedication. To whom much is given, much is expected. We will persevere. We will overcome. We need to preserve the sustainability of our country. We will take back our streets and make St. Lucia safe for all visitors and citizens. To the individuals intent on wrecking havoc, you will be weeded out. There is no room for you or your behavior, and the organization which I lead will succeed in putting a stop to your actions. St. Lucia has no place other than incarceration for those who wish to operate with impunity. Together with the public and our partner agencies, we will make it impossible for you to persist. We will do all in the ambit of the law 
to deal with the scourge of gun violence in our country. Let me take this opportunity to extend sincere condolences to the families of the victims of gun violence during the past weeks and especially during the, the weekend. We need to put a stop to such behavior and as a result, the police will do all in our power legally to curb this level of criminal behavior. I implore you, members of the public, to provide us with the necessary information to bring these perpetrators to justice and to once again restore law and order in our country. Our crime hotline is once again functional and information can be shared anonymously. Call 555 to do so. The call is toll free. We encourage you to collaborate with us in our crime fighting efforts. The time to take back our country from these criminal elements is now. Enough is enough. I thank you. <laughs>